Hey, um, I haven't made a video in ages. Uh, I know it's well. I, I moved out of the hospital, so I've been kind of busy, and yeah, basically I've had a lot going on. So, um, well, I've been living here for about four months in in this apartment. Uh, not a not a whole lot to see. It's actually still pretty messy, as you can tell. I've never been much of a cleanly, orderly person, but anyway, uh, yeah, this is where I've lived so far, but it seems like I am actually going to move again, because uh, I'm actually getting healthy enough that I think I shouldn't, this is like a halfway house type thing, where it's like a community for mentally ill people, and I feel like I am about ready to get out and live on my own, basically. Uh, so I'm hoping that's what I get to do soon. Um, apart from that, yeah, I'm moving out in about a month. Uh, if things go according to plan, I'm involved with uh, a psychiatric team involved called Opus. It's a new thing they started here in Denmark. It's they they work with basically uh, young people with mental disorders in their teens from 16 to 25 I think and I'm 22 so I'm, I'm right in the middle of it. Uh, I'm actually getting some really good uh, some really good results from there. They're helping me out, they're listening to me. I feel like they're listening to me and uh, uh, for example I don't really want to want to take too much medication. I, I don't like the idea of it. Uh, and and they're open to the idea that I might uh, slowly ease out of, of the medication I'm currently taking, see if I can cope without. It, it might have been a passing thing, whatever whatever this thing I've had was. Uh, I still get uh, my, my symptoms, mainly uh, the ambivalence. Uh, but I'm learning to, to, to deal with it. Uh, in alternative ways, different thought patterns. Um, it's not really settling with me yet. Uh, I still struggle getting stuff done, and I have some weird mental side effects uh, from from this extended period of doing nothing. My memory is is like I can't remember jack shit. I lose trail of my conversations, and yeah, so so I do. I uh, still have some symptoms, but as I said, even though they haven't really decreased much in intensity, uh, just getting my life on track to some extent has, has eased a lot of the stress. And when you don't have the stress, it's easier to cope with the symptoms. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And well, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in such a long time. I know my other videos ended up getting like a shitload of views I, I I'm actually a bit embarrassed that I didn't make more of, a, of an effort with those videos I would have if I knew they were going to get so popular but um, either way if, if anyone's still watching after all this time well thanks uh, I hope I said something that interested you I guess Oh, uh, lastly, uh, one one more thing. I get like shitloads of comments uh, and messages, private messages, all those sort of, of things, uh, asking me ra uh, random questions about usually people's own disorders. And I would just like to, to just emphasize that even though I have been diagnosed schizophrenic and I might have some knowledge uh, about mental disorders from what I've read, Personally, I'm not a doctor or a medical professional of any kind, and I'm probably not the right person to ask. Um, I'll, I'll try to help you out, I guess, but I do get a lot of messages, and it's it's hard for me to keep up with them. Uh, so, so just don't get offended if I don't respond or I don't respond right away. It's so I, I sometimes I just don't really have the energy to to go through. Pages of, of yeah, my inbox is huge. Yeah, moving on. Um, well, no, not really. I 
guess that's pretty much it for now. Uh, as you can see, I'm filming this with the built-in webcam, so I don't really know what the quality is going to be like. But I hope it works out, and well, I will see you around, I guess. Thanks for watching.